Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and welcome back to the coin channel. So, it has been quite some time since I made my last upload. In fact, it's been all the way since December of last year that I haven't made a video. So, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Valentine's Day, you know, Happy St. Patrick's Day. All, all the days, you know, Victoria Day and upcoming Memorial Day too. But anyway, aside from that, I just wanted to go ahead and let you all know some of the things that I found in some coin store machines since the year in the year 2021. And it's not even all the finds either. I found even more, but you know, I don't want to make it too long at one time. So I just thought, what better way to showcase something and keep the channel alive than to show off some things that I found. Now, this is an older video, but I will be uploading a video that I took a few several weeks ago uh, where I went to this local diner and did some metal detecting in my college town. So I thought that would be a pretty nice thing. And then once I get that out, then I'm just going to start working from the past to the present, just in sequential order, and hopefully get some pretty cool stuff in. And yeah, so I have a lot of work ahead, but I'm just so thankful I got through all my classes. All my grades are good, and I just made it through this very, very tough semester. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into it and see just what we got. So here we are at an Albertsons. Now this Albertsons has given me some silver in the past, but upon taking a look at the red box, ooh, it's dead. But focusing on the coin store here, we did find one item in the tray here. A penny. Not too bad. There's nothing at the top, but the reject tray this time had ourselves a little bit of a winner. Something rusty. A very rusty. Look at that dime. <laughs> Going out to the coin star. Ooh, and got it's something. I think it's what angles in here. Oh, we got a. Got a, dime. got a dime. Not too yeah. bad. Always check the little seam there. Sometimes coins get stuck in there and never go through. We did get a penny as well inside that coin store machine, so pretty good. Nothing below means we are done. And yeah, this was a quiet thing, but you know, I found a penny and I had to make a mad dash out. <laughs> Oh man, I had to go somewhere. Now, this is the good part here. You can see I don't have a counter here, and there's a pretty good reason. Look at all those coins. A little mini jackpot here. Not too bad. Let's see what we got. Even got an extra penny there. All rusty from zinc. Would you look at that? Wow. 1925. I think this is silver. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's got that silver sound. So now that we are done with all of our finds, let's take a closer look at that Walmart find that we just got. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and take a look at a little closer uh, at what we got here because I do think that we have a really, really nice find here. Let's go ahead and pull out what we got. It's inside this little jar here. It's actually the top to a core water bottle. And yeah, let's see at this, what we got. So plenty of goodies here. We have a 2020 Marsh Billings Rock Rockefeller. Hmm. Never seen that before from Vermont. Pretty cool. 2020 Denver. No W. That's fine. But let's go ahead and see exactly what we got here. This one's definitely suspect of something really nice. So we're going to put this guy to the side. But let's just count up what we got. We got a putt-putt token. 
always a nice nice thing to find it's always fun to get those little tokens i mean there's no value to it but it's still fun let's see here so i'm just gonna put all the pennies it's always plenty of pennies looks like a penny and a dime have been combined here let's just separate that it's a little bit of gum okay nothing too gross which is always a good thing always carry around hand sanitizer when you are working with the coin star machines because there's always a lot of junk that gets on the pennies it's always the pennies for some reason <laughs> anyway so yeah we ended up getting let's see we ended up getting 10 cents of nickels 30 cents uh dimes and 13 cents for pennies we have a quarter a putt putt token and most importantly this here so if we take a closer look at this it has that silver color to it and if we look at the rim there it has bumps which can tell me that at one point this contained some kind of precious metal because they don't want people shaving off the metal and taking the value from it but yeah we can see we have a 2000 ray i butchered that but it's one of their currencies in Brazil, it looks like. Republica dos Estados Unidos do Brasil. 1925. Very, very nice. And you can see we have a facies there. You can see at the top. Let's take a closer look here. You can see, yeah, the facies is very clear at the top there. It's the same thing on the Mercury Dimes. And you can see it's very worn out, but there's also that same column there with the axe, but this one does not have the axe on it. It is still the same kind of bundle of sticks, and you can see a tobacco plant leaves. Very cool. You can already see there's a little bit of corrosion around the leaves and the numbers, but a really cool design. I really like the very bold nature of it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that about does it for this particular set of clips. I wish you all the very best of luck, and I hope you all get just as good of the finds as I have, hopefully even better. And I'd love to see your finds as well. So feel free to shoot me a comment and tell me to check out a video if you've made one. So yeah, we got quite a good amount of things here, and I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got. And I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers. While I may have not been active, I sure as heck gained a ton of subs. Pretty much out of nowhere, and I really appreciate it. If someone out there was promoting my channel or something, or maybe I just got caught up with the algorithm, I don't know. But if one of you guys are responsible, or one of you guys know what's going on, I'd really appreciate checking out the channel of the person who promoted me, and I want to give them a little thank you, so... Yeah, if anyone out there helped give me some traction and attention, I really appreciate it. And I just hope that you all have a great day. We're so close to 500. Once we hit 500, we'll unlock community posts, so I can hopefully add more content to this channel. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, take care out there, and be safe during this Memorial Day weekend, and just everything. Just thank you so much. And I hope you all have an awesome rest of your week.